from slide nerd this is waves in this video i'm going to talk about how to convert binary to decimal now there are two ways to do this the one is pretty simple second one is very complex so i've decided to keep two separate vids so let's go ahead and see how that's done there are two things you can do you can assume a value then use the prefix 0b now if you guys never heard about this i'll show you what exactly it is we go to netbeans and see what the 0b means so here in NetBeans, I have an empty project, nothing inside. I'm going to simply declare a number, say int number equals to 0 B 110, sorry, 1110. Now whenever you write 0 B, you're telling Java that this thing is a binary number. All right, so if you put 2 over here, it's going to be an error. As you guys can see, it says blah, 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 something, it says something expected don't put 2 it's binary number java only expects these numbers to be binary if you put 0 b at the start so now if you simply type this out oops my enter key was pressed so if you simply type this out you say system dot out dot print ln and you say number you know what it's gonna print can you take a guess it's gonna print the decimal value as simple as that this is one of the ways of converting so let's go ahead and see the second way. There's a third way to do this. I almost forgot to say that. So let's go ahead asking the user. Use the parse int with this 2 over here specifically. Now what does that mean? That means that whatever input the user is giving, consider that as binary and then convert that to decimal. So let's go ahead and see how that's done in NetBeans. So here in NetBeans, I have an empty project set up which has a buffered reader. For taking input from the user, I'll say system dot dot print and enter the binary number, store that inside a number. It's the same thing except something weird. Now let's see what that something weird is. This base string s int radix. You're gonna use this one. We'll say reader dot read line. Now here is the normal thing, right? But this number here too tells the compiler that read only a binary number. That means the user is gonna enter something binary and put that as the decimal inside the value number. Now let's just see and how what it prints, right? System dot out dot print ln. I'll say number. Control S Shift F6. Now if I enter binary number like one one zero, as you guys can see, it's directly printing six because of this too. We are telling the Java compiler that user is entering binary, convert that to decimal, and then print it out. So Control S Shift F6 enter only binary number like say 1111 should be 15 yep it's working perfectly but now let's see what happens when the user doesn't enter a binary number so we'll say shift f6 and we'll say 124 you see this guys you see this exception in the no number format exception blah 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 so in this case if you ask expect the user to enter only binary with saying 2 over here and if the user enters something else this is gonna be a nasty exception called number format exception so I hope you guys like what you saw. Please subscribe to my channel if you liked it. Comment, let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. I'll catch you guys later.